everyone, welcome to Flower Selecting TCG. I just really love that name. This is my first stream ever, and today I'm going to talk about Arceus Regidrago V-Star. Um, this is a deck that I really enjoy playing. I actually got top 8 at a local League Cup last year. Um, I did luck out a little bit. I played against Muse and I had Spirit Tomb, but that top 8 was a bit of a trap because I ended up taking this deck to the regionals and got absolutely destroyed. It's really good in a best of one if you can get set up, but once you go to a best of three, it just takes there's too much to set up and it gets really bad consistency wise. But with that said, I do really enjoy playing this deck. It's a really fun deck to play where you can just copy Dragon uh, Pokemon moves in your discard pile and you just have a tool for just about anything. You just gotta get set up. So, without further ado, let me show you the deck. Um, here are the 21 Pokemon. You can see there is Duraludon. Um, Curlia is the draw engine that we have here. Ideally, you want to start with the Arceus, get the Arceus V-Star off. Um, Duraludon is really there to take out any 220 HP Pokemon or to get through any kind of a stall deck, like a Mimikyu or something else that uh, you need to be able to bust through. Giratina for that big attacker and also to take out Mew. There's a choice belt in here, which I'll show you soon. Noivern EX is really, really fun for going up against Maridons or Chin Pao because they're mostly running basics and you can just stall them out. There was this one game where I was down to... The opponent was down to one prize and I finally got the Noivern set up and they just could not do it. And at that point, it was just try not to deck out. We have the Regidragos. The Gudra is probably going to be the main attacker most of the time. That's the one that's gonna get you through most of the decks. Uh, I used to run the Sleepy Altaria in here where you get to roll two dice, but honestly, that was just way too inconsistent to rely on because when you're using that, you also can't use Gudra's attack, which most of the time you wanna be using. Um, the Gallade, if you can get that going, then you're pretty much golden because you can Iono judge them or boss orders anytime. Spirit Tomb for the Mew and also for the Minions and Raikus and just so so useful beyond me, I think. And of course, we have the one Radiant Charizard because we're already running Fire Energy, and that Radiant Charizard allows us to have a single prize attacker. In the trainers, this runs very similarly to an Arceus deck, just an Arc Pile deck. A um, lot of Pokemon Search, Draw, Disruption, the two Judge, two Iono, two Path to the Peak. Adventurous Discovery is very good here because it helps us get our Arceus V Star and also, like, say, Say we Starbirth, right, and we can Starbirth for an Adventurous Discovery, get a Registrago V-Star, get two more V Pokemon that we want to discard, and then the other card, get an Ultra Ball, discard those two, and we're set up after that Arceus attack. Um, Capturing Rome is good, Sharon's Care to pick up your Arceus, there was this one game at the Toronto Regionals where I, I think I was down to five cards, and if I had just drawn that Sharon's Care, I would have won the game against a Lost Kyogre. Energy, we're running pretty light on energy, so you gotta make sure you're paying attention to your energy counts. Um, sometimes you'll have to Raihan it, and I think I do run a Super Rod in here, but that's some that's one uh, one thing that makes this deck a little challenging because you need to make sure your fire energies are in there, and you gotta make sure that if you need to power up two Ridge Dragos, you have enough for everything. So, with that said, let's see how this deck's working out. I actually haven't played in a while, but I do think it's a really fun deck, so let's give it a try here. Let's see what we got. Anyways, while we're looking for this game, um, this is Flower Sun TCG. Once I get this a little more set up, we'll have some plants in the background. Should be fun. I always choose Tails, just so you guys know. I'd rather not even think about it. And it failed me this time. Typically we want to go first, so let's see what our opponent lets us do. If they have a Roaring Moon, we're probably pretty screwed. Alright, RCSV to start. That's ideal. We have the starting energy as well, really good. Noivern, so hopefully... Ooh, Charizard. Charizard's pretty rough for this deck. It is really rough. And they got the shiny Pidgey, dude. That's cute. But it's kind of interesting seeing Charizard wanting to go first and not doing much. But alright, let's see. Ralts on the bench. Let's get our Nest Ball. 
Actually, I'm debating if I want to pick up that spirit tomb because they might run a minion in this deck. Or maybe even, I think I might want to slow them down, actually. I don't need the Regidrago right now. So let's get the spirit tomb and just shut them down. liking the rest of this hand too much. Let's judge him. See what we get here. Got the Regidrago anyways. Awesome, awesome. Let's put the Ralts down and we will pass. I would judge them into an Arden. So, I guess we can probably expect a Pidgeot right off the bat. Oh, Define Span. Interesting. Here we go. Pidgeot time. Uh, I guess they just don't even want that. Is that a shiny Pidgeot too? That judge might have actually screwed me, because now I just don't have the card to do much. Another Charmander, great. Okay, they didn't do much else, fortunately. Let's see if I can get the V-Star. Give me a heads. Nice. Lucked out there. I didn't even, I forgot to even prize check here. Let's see what I got. Path and the DTE, I think. That's probably the move because they're gonna be. They only have two cards. So I think a path and the DTE might be the move. But do I even want to shut that down? That's, good. That's a good question. Let's pick up the path. I don't think I'm too worried about the immediate Charizard. Game going. Trinity. Charge up the Reggie Drago right away. And there are two cards with a path down. So this this could be pretty good. No Pidgeot possibility. Maybe I'll get a research in here. That'd be nice. Nope. No research. no fun. That is no fun. It's actually kind of funny because I can't really even do anything, but I am not going to attack this turn. Thing. I don't have anything in, no Pokemon yet, so the Regidrago is completely useless right now. Uh, I am going to pass. Not expect that Radiant Jirachi. This is a interesting shiny deck, I suppose. They got nothing. I got nothing. Mess Ball is not gonna help me. Three card search is gonna be very devastating, but I probably should thin out the deck. Get their cards first. Wait a minute. I'm stupid. There's a path in play. I can probably I can just knock this out because there's no thing. I'm silly. Oh my god, that's so dumb. I'm so dumb. I could have been killing that Jirachi. Path stops it. 
they shouldn't be able to get anything. Oh no, am I out of... See, that's what I was saying with the low energy counts, because now I have no fire energy. So, but I need to thin this out, so let's just put that in the Arceus in case I need to retreat. No draw for you, son. Oh, cool. I guess I kind of needed that. Ooh, worker. That Charizard's gonna come out swinging. I think it's gonna come out swinging for two... What? 240? It's gonna hurt. That is no bueno. Need some serious draw right now. Oh boy, it's not good. Probably gonna be a Charizard or a Charmander. good. That is not what I needed. Well, I can put another path down at least. I don't think I need anything here. That Charizard's swinging pretty hard right now. I think I just need to swing into it and uh, judge the next turn. Stadium. Shoot. Why? Just why? Well, there goes all my paths. So hopefully, I can get a Giratina in the thing. Do I want to? I needed this last turn. So I should probably save that. I think I'm gonna save that actually. Should I give him the spirit or should I just knock that out? So I don't think they're gonna. Oh, they yeah, might have switched to it. I'm sorry. And because next turn I can discovery pick stuff up, Ultra Ball, and I'll be good. Metro's discovery for probably the Gudra and the Giratina. Ultra Ball those away. Get a Curly. I have some draw power. And let's see what let's see what this guy ends up doing. I'm thinking he's probably gonna try to get more Charmander's now.
allows for next turn, which is nice. Let's see what I want to do here. Don't have Golade, which is kind of annoying. If I'm gonna help, I can probably get this to discard next turn. Do I have another alt? No, I killed my other alt. Charizard deck with this because usually it's a very bad matchup for Dark Rage Drago. Um, but hey, you got to see kind of how it worked. It gets really fun when you can just start gelating them or even getting the, uh, the Radiant Charizard in play. Those are the really fun ones. But otherwise, thanks for joining my stream. This is Flower Selecting TCG. I really like that. And uh, soon enough, we're going to be showcasing some awesome plants here. You can see behind me right now, we have the Monstera Addisoni, which kind of loops up onto this little ceiling here. It's winter right now, and I expect more growth in the summer. Um, stay tuned for next one. 